G'day, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. Today I'm going to run through the basics on how to install our pull-to-push conversion components that come in our 200 and 185mm multi-plate clutch kits. Uh, what we're going to do is run through the basics on how to install these conversion components onto a Mitsubishi transmission. Uh, this is applicable to anything from Evo 4 right through to Evo 10. Remove the Welsh plug from the top of the bell housing using a punch and hammer. Using a flathead screwdriver, pop the top and bottom return springs off the clutch fork. Undo the bolt holding the cross shaft in and slide the shaft out. Remove the return springs and the felt washers. These will not be required for the conversion. Remove the fork and bearing from the transmission. Clean and lubricate the cross shaft and clutch fork with high temperature bearing grease. Ensure you lubricate the pivot hole for the push rod in the fork. Install the clutch fork in backwards so that the rounded contact points are facing out of the transmission. Slide the cross shaft in and tighten the retaining bolt. Lubricate the contact points on the bearing carrier and the snout of the transmission. Slide the bearing carrier onto the transmission and check for a smooth operation. Undo the pressure port on the slave cylinder and remove the fluid flow restrictor. Undo the bleeder nipple and swap it to the inlet port. Install the inlet banjo onto the other port. Install the slave cylinder onto the transmission. Install the new conversion rod over the slave and fork ensuring that the adjustment bolt is offset towards the top. This will ensure that the rod is not pushing off axis. Adjust the threaded bolt to give the fork and conversion rod around 4mm of clearance. When the transmission and clutch are installed on the vehicle, check the adjustment rod on the slave cylinder to ensure that the fork and slave have enough room for the clutch to wear. For any more information, visit australianclutch.com.au and to keep up to date with our new products and new technical videos, visit any one of our social media pages.